We're now further into the summer and Ethereum 2.0 has still not been released yet. We do have some updates and the price for Ethereum still remains bullish. Did make a new yearly high at about 330 right now. And August is looking like the month that it could either break down or it'll continue to make higher highs. Unless we break out of this channel, we can expect majority of the month of August to range between 290 and 330. But it all does depend on how the price reacts to that support and resistance level. So which direction can be better for Ethereum in the long term? Do we want it to have a correction from this rally before another leg up or do we want it to just continue making higher highs? Hey guys, it's John again with another video on Ethereum and this time we'll be looking at what we can expect for August and the bullish and the bearish scenarios. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But first, let's talk about the support and resistance levels that will be important for August. So if the price breaks down, uh, 290 is the first major support level, which was the previous yearly high. 250 would be the price to watch after that, uh, which right now is currently right on that 50 day moving average. But if Ethereum does continue to go upwards, then 360 is the next resistance level, which was the high from 2019. But if the price does continue to go upwards, then 420 would be the next resistance level for Ethereum, uh, which was also 2018's major support level. Here's an article here with some news on Ethereum 2.0 uh, from Cointelegraph stating that the final testnet is set to launch on August 4th. There has been three months of successful testing since April. The Ethereum network right now, it is currently under pressure uh, with stable coins being issued and also the DeFi boom. With 2.0 scaling solutions, um, they're hoping that this can help bring gas fees down to sustainable levels. And with all of this going on on Ethereum, um, it has become the most used blockchain once again. Uh, this is mostly because of stable coins and the DeFi boom. Uh, if you look here, data by Masari shows that Ethereum has passed Bitcoin in daily settlement value. Um, stable coins on Ethereum are continuing to grow and decentralized finance such as Yarn and Karma are starting to drive more demand. And also the current Ethereum activity uh, has been similar to before the 2017 ICO boom, uh, where the following months Ethereum went to all time high of about 1400. There has been two main things driving the price. Uh, one being anticipation for Ethereum 2.0, uh, which is bringing in a lot of spot buyers. And also the second thing is DeFi is starting to gain traction. Uh, let's look at the chart, find out for ourselves what signals the price action could be showing for the next major move. Since the price bottomed out down here in March, uh, Ethereum has been showing a strong reversal. Uh, it is making higher highs continuously and continues to break out. Price has been trading consistently above the 2150 and the 200 day moving average. We have the 200 here since that crossover in April, uh, the price has remained bullish. We have the 50 moving average here, the green line since that crossover also in April, the price has remained above and here the white line, we have the 21 day moving average, uh, which is in a strong trend. It is the buy the dip range. And as you can see here, every bounce we've had down to the 21 moving average, uh, going in range about here. The price did dip out of there and same with here. It continued to make it out and we did have quite a bit of sideways price action for about a month, but we recently did break above the 21 day moving average again um, and had seven consistent days of bullish price action. Uh, one thing to keep an eye on though, going into August is the RSI. The RSI has entered the overbought zone and a pullback is to be expected. So the question is, is August the month for that? And since the trend is showing lots of bullish strength, uh, the trade right now should be by the dip if that opportunity comes. You're gonna wanna keep an eye on this RSI in a daily chart and see if it retraces right down to this 70 range along this line here. Um, that would be a good buy the dip opportunity. You would also need to see where the price is in terms of the 21 day moving average, because that range would also be a good buy the dip opportunity if it did come. 
If you also look here at the beginning of the year where we had our first yearly high, the RSI was also right in that overbought zone at about 85. And look what happened after that. The RSI did retrace back down that 50 range and also went all the way down to oversold. And if you look at the price action, um, it did have a correction. It reached the top and came down for about a month, the middle of February all the way to the middle of March. And that was a big, deep correction from the previous uptrend. There is a possibility for something very similar to happen now is the price breaks down, comes down to that first support level at around 290, continues this way down. If the price did come to this last support here at about 250 for the trend, uh, it would be bullish still because it would be a higher low than before the breakout we've had and it would, the price would still be above the 200 day moving average. So if the price did dip down to this support level here, uh, that would also be a great buying opportunity for a bounce right back up to test this 330 resistance level. And if we do have this correction in August, uh, then that would put us on track to test a new high later in the year, possibly all the way up to $500. Look at the RSI. Each time it has been in this range, uh, the price has followed with a pretty deep correction. So I would expect something similar to happen now before continuation to higher prices. So that's it for this August update on Ethereum. Check our channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. It's John from Currency.com. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.